to lesson nine of additional maths. Today we're going to be focusing on coordinate geometry. Okay, so we're looking at um, straight lines and these line segments between two points and finding things like the length between two points, the midpoint, which is right in the middle of the line segment, and the gradient of the line between two points. So you'll have done some work of this on GCC, looking at things like the equation of a straight line using y equals mx plus c. Okay, we're just going to look at the these three things in today's lesson, finding the length, midpoint, and gradient of a line segment. So the example I'm going to use is a specific one where I've got a coordinate a, minus 4, 2, and a coordinate b, 2, 5, and I want to find the length between those two points, the point which is right in the middle of those two points, and then the gradient of those two, of the line segment between those two points. Okay. A good idea when you're doing questions like this is to do a little sketch of the problem so you know approximately what you're talking about and you can have a little estimate of what, what you think a sensible answer might be. For example, is you know when you plot the two coordinates, is, is the gradient positive? Is the gradient negative? You can see that clearly by the diagram. Okay. Um, and so with my diagram, I want to plot the point A, minus 4, 2. So minus 4, 2, somewhere over here. That's A. And the point B is 2, 5. Okay, so that's 2 across and 5 up. So somewhere there. So that's the point B. So there's my y-axis and my x-axis. And I'm talking about this line segment that goes between A and B. So the first thing I want to do is find the length of the line AB. This is essentially a Pythagoras problem. So the length of the line AB is going to be equal to the length of this hypotenuse in this right angle triangle. Okay. If I have a more general set of points, so if, if point A was x1, y1, and B was x2, y2, then the straight line, that distance AB, would be using Pythagoras with the distances horizontally and the distances vertically. The horizontal distance is the difference between the two x coordinates. So it is the second x coordinate subtract the first x coordinate would give me that distance. And the vertical distance is the difference between the two y coordinates. So it'll be the second y coordinate subtract the first y coordinate. And then the length of the line AB, so that length there, would be equal to the square root of those two distances squared and added together. So the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, because Pythagoras, the shorter side squared and added together equal the hypotenuse squared, so therefore you would then square root the result to get the hypotenuse's length. So in this specific question, what I'm going to do to find the length is going to be equal to the square root of the second x-coordinate to subtract the first x-coordinate, so subtract minus 4, all squared, plus the second y-coordinate, 5, minus the first y-coordinate, 2, all squared. And that's going to equal, firstly, 2 minus minus 4 is 6. And that makes sense, because, because if we we're going from an x-coordinate of minus, minus 4 to an x-coordinate of 2, we've gone 6 across. So it's the square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. We've gone horizontally 6 and vertically 3. So it is the square root of 36 plus 9, which is the square root of 45. I want to write my answer exactly. I do not like decimals. Decimals are ugly. Okay, thirds are beautiful. Okay, they're exact. So root 45 does not 
it's not a square number and therefore you can't write it as a as a whole number so root 45 you've got to think can i simplify this third so root 45 is the same as root 9 times root 5 which is the same as 3 root 5 so the length ab is 3 root 5 okay so that's the answer to the first part second part i want to find the midpoint of the line segment ab that's the point right in the middle, okay? Right there, let's call it M for midpoint. The midpoint between two coordinates is halfway along in the X direction and halfway along in the Y direction. So the best way to find it is actually, it's just the average of the two X coordinates and the average of the two Y coordinates. When I say average, I actually mean the mean so the mean of the two x coordinates and the mean of the two y coordinates. So all you need to do is add the two x coordinates together and divide by two, add the two y coordinates together, divide by two, and you've got your midpoint. More generally, for these general coordinates a and b, the midpoint is equal to the coordinate x1 plus x2 over 2 as the x coordinate and y1 plus y2 over 2 as the y coordinate. So the average of both. So in this specific example here, the average of each will give us the midpoint. So the average of minus 4 and 2 is minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2. And the average of 2 and 5 is 2 plus 5 divided by 2, which gives us the point minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, halve it is minus 1. 2 plus 5 is 7 divided by 2, halve it is 3.5, or if you'd rather, and I would rather, 7 halves. Okay. In additional maths and in A level maths, having top heavy fractions is much easier to work with than decimals and then mixed fractions. Mixed fractions are an aberration. I could go on at length on that in another video if you ask. So seven over two is the Y coordinate. And you look back into your diagram and you think, does that sound like a reasonable answer? Minus one, yeah, that sounds reasonable because that is halfway between minus four and two. And seven halves or 3.5 is reasonable because that's halfway between two up and five up okay so that's a reasonable answer so that is my midpoint always think when you're answering a question is my answer reasonable if not if you've got evidence to think that maybe you've got something horribly wrong then rethink it through the last part is asking for the gradient so the gradient of the line segment a b and gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x the gradient is defined by how much have you moved in the y direction if you move one in the positive x direction. So if I go from A and I go one right, how far up would I need to go to get to my line? Now the line AB, specifically the one I've got here, is a positive gradient, okay? I can see that from the diagram, so I'm expecting a positive answer, but I'm gonna go through the general, the general formula first. So the gradient is the change in y, the change in y is the, is the second y coordinate minus the first y coordinate. It's that distance. So it's y2 minus y1 divided by the change in x, which is the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate. So that is the general formula for the gradient of any line segment. And we're going to use that specifically for the one we've got here. Okay. So the gradient in this specific example is equal to the change in y which is the second y coordinate is 5 minus the first y coordinate which is 2 so 5 minus 2 divided by the change in x the change in x is the second y x coordinate minus the first x coordinate so 2 minus minus 4 so that's 3 divided by 6, which is equal to a half. 
And then you think, again, is this reasonable? Half is positive, so that's good. That's a good indicator, firstly. And you've gone six across and three up. So that means for every one across, you've only gone half up. So yes, that is correct. So that's the gradient of that line segment. Okay, I want you to find the same three things, the length, the midpoint, and the gradient between these two coordinates. Two minus seven, that's your coordinate of point A, and minus three minus 17. That's your coordinate B. So pause at this point and use those formulae to find the length, the midpoint, and the gradient of the line segment AB between those two coordinates. Okay, so pause now, have a go. So the answer for each one, firstly, the length, length AB is equal to the square root of minus three minus two squared, because it's, this, it's the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate squared plus minus 17 minus minus seven squared. And that is minus five all squared, which is 25, plus minus 10 all squared, which is 100. So it's the root of 125, which is the same as root 25, root five. So in simplified third form, it is five root five. Okay, so that is the length between those two coordinates. Part two, midpoint. The midpoint is gonna be equal to the average of the x coordinates. So that's them added together. So two and minus three divided by two and the average of the y coordinates. So minus seven added to minus 17 divided by two, which simplifies. So two and minus three is minus one divided by two is minus a half. And minus seven and minus 17 is minus 24 divided by two is minus 12. So that there is your answer for the midpoint. And lastly, the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y is minus 17 minus minus seven. The change in x is minus three take away two. So that will be minus 10 divided by minus five, which is positive two. So the gradient is two. If you got all three answers, superb, well done. Okay, if you didn't make any negative errors throughout this, because there, there are various places where lots of mathematicians will make negative errors and you know it's very common to make negative errors throughout your a-level what you want to do is reduce the number of a level of negative errors throughout your maths and that happens just through practice through experience and through taking care with the work that you're doing writing things out okay and then you minimize the number of errors okay at this point what you should do is you should go to the textbook and have a go at questions from exercise 5.1. So the first exercise from chapter five, okay? So get used to coordinate geometry because it's a very useful topic and it comes up throughout the A-level. Um, so get used to all the parts in this and go away and enjoy your maths.